almost everybody felt they knew the Queen, even those who had never met her. My late Granny Gregor, who was born around the same time as Her Majesty, said she was the sister that she'd never met. But others were, of course, privileged to meet or work with the Queen, like Pat Morris from Gulland in East Lothian, who spent two hours with the Queen at Balmoral, photographing her dogs. She said last week, I completely forgot who I was talking to. She was uh, friendly, kind, amusing and very natural. Or the late Bill Scott, a friend I got to know in London, a humble uh, Glaswegian with a gentle wit and a deep sense of faith. Father Bill first served as a curate in uh, the Gorbals in Glasgow, but went on to become sub-dean of Her Majesty's Chapel's Royal before becoming domestic chaplain to the Queen in Buckingham Palace. Bill Scott had no time for pretense, describing his role only as being a sort of vicar in the palaces. Indeed, like many associated with our monarchy, Bill rose to Kipling's challenge of being able to walk with kings, nor lose the common touch. Presiding officer, the Queen was deeply connected to all of our communities. Her reign was, yes, regal, but it was never remote. The Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, just as the King and the Queen's consort will now do, put themselves at the heart of our communities. Visiting Haddington in 2007, the Queen met with representatives of the Lamp of Lothian Trust, which brings together the community by restoring derelict buildings, making them available for community use. She also visited the Scottish Seabird Centre in North Berwick in 2009, where Her Majesty and Prince Philip joined my constituent Rear Admiral Neil, Ral uh, Neil Rankin to present volunteers with the Queen's Award for Enterprise. And on the same day that she became Britain's longest serving monarch, the Queen took a train trip to Tweedbank to formally open the Borders Railway, including opening Newton Grange Station in Midlothian. And when you look back at these visits, it's clear to see that the Queen had an innate capacity to bring our communities together. Presiding officer, the Queen brought her own sense of majesty to our monarchy, and through her death, just as she did in life, she brought unity to our nation.